I'm here with Simon Gerrans. Uh, Simon, national champions jersey, two down under. It's got to be like one of the best mixes that there are. Yeah, and uh, and all doing that at part of Green Edge as well. So it's an exciting time um, for myself and Australian cycling. I think uh, everyone's really really wrapped with that this, this team and. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a fantastic time. Tell us about the, the, the national championship victory in Ballarat, uh, sorry, in you, you, know, you, you sprinted away from Port and Lloyd. Um, you rated, I don't know, as one of the biggest wins as, as, of your career, but did it make even more, was it even bigger because you are in the Green Edge Gullers? Yeah, definitely. There was a lot of pressure on Green Edge leading into the national championships, and uh, it was really important that someone from the team really stepped up and, and won that national title, I think. So, yeah, I was... Uh, Really elated to, to get that win and, and, and really um, really happy to finish off what was a really hard day's work for the whole team. Yeah, and, and tell us about that work ethic because I mean we saw Cam Meyer go up the road and we saw guys like Luke Durbridge who were obviously very strong doing a lot of work. I mean the same the team already very early on seems to be clicking very well together. Is that how you see it? Yeah, for sure. Everyone in the team really knew their role at the national title. We had a few protected riders there and a few guys to really. Uh, try and get away at certain points in the race and, and go, for the, go for the win and then my job was in the last few laps so um, on the rare occasion the national title does come back to those last few laps I was there and waiting so yeah I was able to finish it off like you said. Yeah and I mean now two down under I mean you've won the race before uh, and you're one of the favourites this year the extra Wollonga hill finish the extra wrap round Wollonga the, the hilltop finish I mean is that something that you, you know is that going to be where the race is decided do you think? Oh, I think it's going to be a crucial part of the race, but I don't think it's all going to come down to that Bologna finish. I think it's going to be very important to have some time uh, bonuses before that Bologna stage, because as much as it's a hilltop finish, I think there'll be a little group that'll get to the top together. Um, so yeah, there's so many elements this year's Tour Down Under, and that hilltop finish has just opened up so many more riders. In terms of, because the race is the World Tour points, so much more valued, uh, do you think that breakaways are going to become less and less likely to happen just because teams are so much more competitive about getting to the sprint finish and competing with their sprinters these days? I think that's what we've seen the last few years actually. I think uh, Cam Meyer's breakaway uh, stage win and then tour win uh, last year was probably the only breakaway we've seen go all the way to the finish for quite some time as well under. So yeah, since the race has been uh, at the highest level, Pro, Pro Tour, World Tour, um, it's really eliminated those, those lucky breaks that get away. But, um, yeah, now with uh, the hilltop finishes, it's made a, a selective stage as well. So there's not only bunch sprints that we won't see only bunch sprints. Thanks very much, Simon Garrens.